you don't talk. That's okay. Talking's overrated anyway. Most people are all talk and no action. I choose to be all action and no theory. It would appear that you're the same way. But it's Thomas, which is. You don't have a name. That must be a hard life. I mean, what do we really need names for anyway? So the government can keep an eye on us? Relax, I'm, I'm joking. You look like my cousin David. I'm gonna call you David, is that all right? Good. What you got in there? You got a journal? Can I see it? Some heavy shit. I rebel, therefore I exist. Big box of now. I looked into God's eyes and it, if there is a God, he's not here. Solipsism? Jesus. What are you planning on doing with all this shit? Why do I keep asking you questions? It's good though, I uh, I like it. You know, you don't have to stand here. I just, I have nowhere else to be. Okay, I get it. You're probably waiting for me to say something profound, huh? Crazy intelligent shit, am I right? Okay, well look, I don't know much about existence or all that, so I don't really know what to tell you. I'd say go find someone else. Oh, you wanna know why this isn't lit? Well, that's easy. I used to be addicted, now I'm not. But I still like the feeling of this on my lips. That's all, no descriptive monologues, no crazy stories with metaphors all over the place, no display of my inner demons, nothing. Look, it is possible for there to be people in this world who aren't trying to figure everything out. I mean, everything doesn't have to have so much goddamn thought in it. Not everyone goes around thinking about the existence of God and all that shit. I, mean, I, I believe in God. I'm Catholic, I go to church, I pray. But I don't let it get farther than that. Not because I was taught not to, but because I'm fine with my place in the world. Why don't you write that down? You're not satisfied. All right, you wanna know the meaning of life? Biologically, I think we're meant to reproduce. What does society think? Maybe, I don't know, to be successful. Positive thinkers, happiness. Negative thinkers, eat shit and die. It, 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 it depends entirely on who you ask. There you go. And me? I mean, what do I think? I have no clue. If you asked me that a few years ago, I would have told you it was to be successful. I used to tell myself I want to acquire as much knowledge as possible. Now that I spent all my time doing that, I feel pretty stupid. I'm not, I'm not happy. I'm not depressed. 
I'm not satisfied. I am alone. But I'm not dead. Obviously I missed something and I don't know what I want out of life anymore. I look around the halls of that goddamn school and I see future lawyers and engineers and mechanics. I see future struggling Broadway actors and writers for the next hit AMC drama. I see nurses and people who are going to call themselves psychology majors because they think it'll make them sound intelligent. I see mothers and fathers and people who aren't even going to live to see 30. I see radiologists and cardiologists and aerodynamicists and economists, all kinds of ists. The future president could be in there for all I know. America's backbone hidden under the guise of some nothing high school class. And I don't know where I fall in it. What kind of future is in store for Thomas Aaron Merton? All the people in that journal of yours, all the people that you've talked to, they have some sort of plan or another. They know where they are, they know where they're going. Or maybe they don't. Maybe, maybe it's all talk. Maybe they're going through the same internal crisis as I am. Maybe there's some universal code embedded in every teenage brain that tells them everything they need to know, but it becomes faulty in the months nearing graduation. I have a passion, I, I have a dream and all that, but there comes a time when you start to recognize the immensity of the world around you. When you're a kid, all you know is your neighborhood. And then middle school comes around and you start to meet strange new people. And then high school kicks it up another notch. It's like you go from a, a pond to a stream to the Nile and you're spit out into the deep blue nothing more than a vague understanding of ocean currents and causality. Maybe this is just pre-college jitters or stereotypical teenage angst talking, but either way... For the first, for the first time, I don't know where I'm gonna be five years from now. I know that sounds scary. I know it sounds depressing. I know it sounds sad. When I say that I don't know, I'm saying that I'm okay with it. I spent my entire life knowing what was around the corner. And now, now I get to have a little adventure. It's all I really want. Enough. Take care, David. Hey, David. I'll see you in another life. Maybe next time you'll actually talk. <laughs>